Hi Taurus, welcome to your June 2021 monthly messages from Spirit Reading. This is your girl Mermaid Scales Tarot. So Taurus, my intentions for this reading is to channel and provide messages from Spirit for you for the month of June and to ask if there's anything you need to be aware of, to know about, to celebrate, or even to watch out for in regards to any aspect of your life, whether that's love, finances, career, spiritual evolution, whatever Spirit wants to point out, I will do my best to communicate. So, if you have any beings of the light on your spiritual team that you would like to call forward at this time, specific ancestors, angels, spirit guides, or even past on loved ones, you're welcome to do so at this time. This is a general reading for the sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Taurus. This will not resonate with every Taurus that watches this message. And if this message is not for you, I suggest checking your other signs and different placements. All right, Taurus, let's get this started. I'm going to pull a card from this deck that I love, Keepers of the Light by Kyle Gray. And I'm going to ask what Ascended Master would like to come forward for you at this time and what message they have for you for the month of June. Does Taurus need to know at this time for the month of June? Jeez. Okay. <laughs> what does Taurus need to hear at this time for the month of June? Spirit. Serapis Bay Ascension. Wow. Move into your true self. Rise above the darkness. The light is here. You guys are going through a profound awakening. And I feel that this has started since the new moon eclipse in Gemini on, was it the 10th? Sorry, I'm really bad with dates and names. <laughs> I believe it was the 10th. Correct me if I'm wrong. And ever since then, there has been a new awareness about you. Um, if you guys have been feeling kind of like tired, fatigued, headaches, um, just not yourself, just energetically kind of funky. This is all part of the ascension process. These are called ascension symptoms that you're going through and you're rising. You're becoming a whole new person, a whole new being with a whole new consciousness. Serapis Bay has had many incarnations in this world or believed to have many incarnations. And here's he's depicted as the god Serapis. So some of you may have connections to um, Egyptian past lives. Maybe you've always been drawn to Egyptian mythology or even you associate a lot of your spiritual team to be Egyptian, you know, spirit guides, gods, goddesses that could resonate with you in some way. But, you know, something has happened in your life that has made you want to ascend, has made you want to change perspective. And you're giving, you're being given that right to ascension here. And if you guys have been feeling a bit out of character, a bit tired, um, and you've been getting a shit ton of downloads, information coming out of the blue, number synchronicities, um, patterns, finding feathers, coins, being told the same thing over and over again, hearing, um, you know, similar sayings over and over again. Those are messages being communicated to you by the universe, by spirit, by God know that you are going through an ascension and you are going to become a whole new person by the end of this month once this, once this ascension is fully through. At the bottom of the deck, we do have St. Germain, karma releasing, move beyond drama, create your own path, make room for good energy. This makes a lot of sense. So unlike the other signs that were working through karma was taking the time now to have unresolved business. Taurus, you've already really have gone through that. I feel that there has been an awakening that I feel like your spiritual awakening for some reason I'm hearing 2019 2018 it could be really any year but those years really ring out to me um but this you've been ascending ever since then but this is just where you're finally going to reach that point where you know now you're a whole different person you see things in a completely new light you are vibrating at a higher level than 
most of the population. And it's from the karma work you've done, the shadow work you've done up until this point. Um, some of you, I gotta say, and this may not be for you, if it's not for you, just leave it, but you've been tapping into magic, maybe looking into a cult type of, um, you know, books, theories, maybe kind of tapping into rituals, into stuff like that, and it's kind of been opening to a past life where you did worship, you know, ancient deities, practice magic rituals. Um, you have this, you, you are the one that has given these keys to go to this next level that a lot of people aren't given in this lifetime. That's really what's hitting hard for me. And I feel also for some of you, um, You've resolved a lot of karma from a past life. The work you've done this lifetime, this lifetime, oh, sorry, Mercury retrograde. I know tarot readers like to blame it on that, but I'll do it. Um, you've released some sort of karma that was a debt from a past life. And the work you've been doing this lifetime, whether it's spiritual work, whether it's, you know, you could even be in finance or you could even be a salesperson, but there's something about what you are on this earth, Taurus, that really inspires people, really heals people, and really shows them. I, I don't know. It's like almost as if, Taurus, you've kind of unlocked inner awakenings in people just with your presence or just with conversations they have with you. You're a very deep, complex being. And you don't expose this to too many people, but when people see that side of you, it's profound. It's insightful. And know that if you're struggling with some sort of fatigue, headache, tiredness, you're, a lot of old things may be surfacing to finally shed, even though I do feel like you did most of that work, it's because you're ascending. You're going into a new vibration. And it's going to be amazing, really it's going to be like a weight off your shoulders. It's going to be, I don't know. It's just the small things you used to worry about so much in life are not going to impact you so much anymore. Um, you see things from a higher perspective, or at least you will by the end of June. And I feel Taurus, although it may be hard to do so, I think you have a gift in providing that insight to the world in some way. I feel some of you could be artists, even um, musicians, writers, painters, or you bring some sort of beauty into this earth. I'm not surprised of you being a Taurus. Um, but whatever deep spiritual knowledge you have, you're possessing, you're understanding, and you're receiving right now at this time, it can be used to help the world to even just inspire others to do the same type of soul searching that you've been doing this lifetime. But wow, you're on the rise, Taurus. You're on the rise. Let's go ahead and get some more cards. What does Taurus need to know for the month of June? What does Taurus need to know for the month of June? Envy. Interesting. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. And at the bottom of the deck, perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Beautiful. I'm even getting like Mars and Taurus energy coming through for some of you if you have multiple Taurus placements. But uh, yeah, wow, Taurus. I mean, people, what you have may inspire some, but a lot of kind of are envious of it. And Taurus, if you're feeling that envy around you, I'm even seeing um, the eye of Nazar in my mind's eye, the blue, um, you know, the eye, the blue eye, the the protector, the evil eye. Um, that may resonate with you in some way, but it's like what envy people send to you. Maybe it affected you before. Maybe you kind of felt like you had to dim your light for others that you couldn't be yourself because of criticism. And if there was criticism, it was envious. It's clear here. Um, but the envy of others is not going to affect you anymore. Again, like you're coming into a higher existence, a higher vibration. 
and you're just this like I don't know if anyone's ever told you that you have like this golden aura or this like some of your auras colors are like yellow um your solar plexus is popping it is really being activated in the month of June and it's by fully understanding Taurus that you are a person that is meant to shine in this world that is meant to have an impact in this world that is meant to change this world you truly are and it's coming through very strongly here and you're not going to let anyone discourage you from doing so you're not going to let anyone dim your light anymore and it's not coming from like a arrogant type of place here it's coming from a desire to want to help others get to the same ascension that you're in if you're not a light worker i feel for a lot of you um your purpose is light work and the light work you're supposed to do is help awaken the collective help awaken the community help awaken people to what is important and that could be through your creations that could be through your work or just your conversation your impact is I'm hearing sensational. And it was not easy to get here though. People do not know your story. You know, maybe some people are envious of you because Taurus, they think as you're on the rise, as you're ascending, oh, Taurus just gets everything easily. They're just lucky. No, it was not luck. I had to work for this. I had to dive deep into my shadow. I had to recognize my shadow, heal my shadow, recognize my karma do what I can to atone my karma. Um, and I did the work. So don't let anyone discredit you, Taurus. Don't let anyone like brush you off. And if people aren't accepting the new you, dump them, leave them, you know? Or at least give them that break for them to kind of do their own healing until they can accept you in because really you're high, you're high vibrating. And even some of you, if this is not so spiritual, 90% of you, I feel it is. But for those of you, this isn't like, you may be ascending in your career. You may be ascending into the spotlight. And that is what's making other people envious of you. But again, if anyone's acting out of character, um, flipping the script on you, know it's from that. Don't, don't think it's anything else, okay? Let's keep going. Okay. Change. Wow. Gemini had this card. Some of you could have Gemini in your chart. You could have, you could be a Taurus Gemini cusper. The frequency of change supports our ability to gracefully dance with the forever changing nature of reality, both inward and outward, so that we can appreciate the sweet release of the old and the birth of the new. Yeah. So the infinity symbol may mean something to you. Also, some of your birthdays could be May 12th. Um, but there's, you are going to experience change, not only inward, but outward, because as you change within, your world changes without. And then the throat chakra. Yeah, I feel a lot of you are meant to express these truths, to communicate these downloads that you're receiving at this time. They're one of a kind. They're rare. Um, the frequency of the throat chakra, the blue flower of life, supports our self-expression and our sense of peace and balance. Yeah, so some of you, along with the solar plexus act activations, there could be throat chakra activations as well. But like I said, um, going off of the throat chakra here, you may have had to feel like you had to suppress your ideas, suppress your philosophies, your thoughts, because a lot of people haven't done the work you've done. A lot of people aren't vibrating at the height you're vibrating at. And a lot of people just don't understand. Now, I do feel you have the power to communicate this with such insightfulness in such an intelligent way. Some of you could have error in your chart. Again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. You have this ability to really motivate and help people see things in a different way, in a different light. And how to ground that and implement that into your life as well as teaching others how to do it in their own lives as well. Um, but if you were ever 
If you ever felt like you had to suppress that truth, it's no longer the case. And the people, toxic people who have shunned you will be exposed, will be shown the light, and will just fall out of your life. And you don't really have to do anything, Taurus. That's what happens when you ascend. That's what happens when you become in greater alignment with Source, with God, with the universe. You start to see things that just were not meant for you or no longer serve their purpose drop out of your life. And that's the change you may see. Um, some of you, because you're in this new vibration, you may decide something you were really committed to, dedicated to, is not just in your interest anymore. Jobs, people, hobbies. And maybe you kind of want to try something new, explore new ideas, new philosophies, new hobbies. Do it. I think you'll be successful in it. Um, but there's a lot of you're just not going to be the same again after this month, Taurus. And it's through this awakening. It's through this ascension that this is all happening. And it's like the side of you has been waiting to come out, has been waiting to, you know, it's like you have an ancient soul, I feel. Like you've been incarnating many lifetimes just as Serapis has since like, you know, ancient times. And each time you just learn something new and now you have that encyclopedia of knowledge from every past life existing into this lifetime and you're meant to do something about it wow okay let's keep going let's see what the tarot has to say the well wow so this is the Ethereal Visions deck, which was so kindly gifted to me by a subscriber. Thank you so much. You know who you are if you're watching this. Um, but the well is not in traditional tarot. So the well is about wish fulfillment. It's about the universe giving to us, nurturing us. And it's about Mother Gaia, which being Taurus, I'm not surprised Gaia is showing up in your reading. Um, I forget whose other... Oh, Aquarius. Aquarius had the well as well. So if you have Aquarius in your chart, check out the Aquarius reading. But um, yeah, you know, Taurus, your thoughts and your will change your outer world. And if you haven't experienced that before, you're, you will experience it in June. And once you really understand the power that this ascension comes with and what the gifts and the abilities are coming with this. I don't feel like, you know, you'll have bad days. Everyone does. You're still human, of course, but you're not going to feel a lack again. And that is a true gift. That is rare. So many humans don't recognize the blessings they have in their life or that how good they have it in comparison to others or, you know, if one bad thing happens, they hold on to that forever and never let it go without seeing that they have food on their table, a home over their head. Um, but Taurus, you're going to feel the abundance. You're going to feel the prosperity and you'll see it all around you and be thankful for it. And I, because of this unlock, because of this rites of passage that is given to you by the universe, the universe is going to abundantly provide to you. And I feel for a lot of you, you're going to start to wake up and see the abundance that will happen in your life. Um, again, like if you're ascending in your career, I feel job promotions, job offers, people want to work with you. Um, people want to get to know you, but then again, there's still some snakes in the grass. Okay. But really, truly, honestly, Taurus, those snakes in the grass cannot touch you. They can't. You're above ground, right? This is how it feels. Maybe they did affect you one period of time, but they're not anymore. It's like water off a duck. Or the bad energy they send your way is going to bounce off you and return back to them tenfold. The artist. Yes, I knew that some of you are artists. Another card that is not in the traditional tarot deck. Um... Yeah, a lot of you are creating the world you want to live in or, you know, just by simply changing where you want to live, by simply seeing things in a new light, you're dreaming your world that you want to have for yourself into existence. And people 
are jealous about it because you know they see you Taurus again being this powerful creator having this powerful energy how does Taurus have it so easily and if some of you Again, I'm not saying you have it easy. This is what these envious people see you as and project to you as, as an excuse for them not wanting to change. They would just want to make it seem that you're just given this and you had nothing to do with the hard work that came with it. But again, know that this is why people are projecting any sort of negative energy your way. It's because of what you are creating. You recognize your power. You recognize what you can do. You recognize that perspective is a lot. And when you see the world full of opportunities, instead of, you know, let me explain it this way. So when you are someone that knows their power, when you know that you're your own creator, you don't look at the world and find everything that you can't do or that is unfixable. You look at the world and you say, here are a bunch of opportunities. This is what I can do. This is what I can move forward with. This is what I can succeed in. You become an optimist, not a pessimist. If that's exactly what is happening in your life now, Taurus. And if you're not seeing that yet, this, this ascension will help you see the world in this way, which is going to be bountiful and plentiful. And even some of you who are artists, your work is going to be acknowledged by someone big or a lot of people are going to start noticing your work. You're going to start to get a lot of acknowledgement, follows on social media. Yeah, and then Ten of Wands, Sagittarius energy under change. You've done the work, Taurus. The, the work is over. I mean, again, we all are still living human lives. There's going to be things that happen to us in life that we have to deal with, that we have to go through, that we have to overcome. But as far as your hard karma, shadow work, I feel confident enough to say that you've done enough to where you have integrated the shadow side. You have resolved the karma. You have decided that if there is change you want in your life, you're not waiting for it to happen. You are making it happen yourself. And because of this work, you'll start to see the well and the artist come into your life to give you the blessings of your perseverance, of how much you wanted a difference in your life and how you made it. Strength, Leo energy, beautiful, yep everything I said and this is the major arcana of everything I said you had to really tap into your shadow side tap into what you weren't happy with about yourself because you know as above so below and what you're unhappy with of outside in the world usually is a reflection of what you're unhappy with inside and you did the work you did the healing you did the growth and you have powerful strong spirit guides around you again some of them are egyptian related some of them are ancient light workers spiritual workers um sekhmet is coming through very strongly another egyptian goddess um and they've helped you yes but you were the one to choose to accept that help and to do something differently so taurus this is a wake-up call this is an ascension this is a rise and you'll be a totally different new person by the end of June, knowing exactly who you are. And it's amazing, truly. So I'm going to pull one more card, Taurus, from this Crystal Mandala Oracle deck by Alana Fairchild. This is one of my favorite Oracle decks. Um, I highly recommend you purchase one. And I'm going to ask for a crystal energy to come through. And what Ascended Master, Angel spirit guide god goddess would like to come through for that and read an excerpt from, excerpt from the book because so i do believe that alana fairchild has beautiful writing and beautiful messages behind these cards so what's the final message we have from the beautiful koreans that are going through this profound ascension anything else that Taurus needs to know for the month of june Goddess Isis and Isis Crystal. She shall always prevail with Crystal Goddess number 888. Yeah, the Egyptians are with you. I mean, honestly, or even some of you could have Egyptian ancestry or Egyptian past lives. This is Goddess energy. 
And yeah, Taurus, wow. Okay, let's go ahead and read the excerpt. I could say a million things, but let's just go ahead and read this first. We bring you the empowerment of she shall always prevail. There is something magnificent in the human spirit when one chooses to believe in oneself. Life rallies to strengthen and encourage it. It is the expression of will to live, not from a place of fear of death, but of a brave, divinely defiant boldness that refuses to give up on what matters most. You have had your share of heartbreak and disappointment, and yet rather than bitterness in your heart, you choose love. You have your moments of doubt and despair, and yet deep in your heart, you choose to continue on. You have the spirit of Isis in you. And just like the universal mother expressing herself through Isis, you too shall prevail. Who chills, Taurus. Yeah, like I said, maybe even before when I was describing that pessimism, maybe you looked at life like that for a very long time. Just like the world was out to get you. There's nothing you could ever do that was good enough. And then, again, whenever your awakening was happening, you started to really tap into how much control you really do have over your life. And how if you always just believe in yourself, stick to your intentions, stick to your trust in the universe, you will always make it through. You will always rise above. You will always prevail. And June may be that final reminder for you, Taurus. And after this, you... I want to say are untouchable, you know, and again, life can throw you some curveballs, but you'll know what to do with them. You'll know how to solve them. And deep down, even if there are moments of despair, you'll always know you'll make it through it, especially with such powerful energy within and around your psyche. You are truly one to be admired, Taurus, and I can see how some may be envious of it. What a beautiful reading. Thank you so much for joining me here. I hope that this has resonated with you in some way. If it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Taurus, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Taurus.